Hey, what's up? This is your girl Nicole Reloaded, and we're loaded up, and we're loaded up for another video. Anyway, shout out to Atlanta Black Star, where I love getting hot topics and news from. Shout out to y'all, credit to y'all, to this article. After Tamar Braxton wrapped the final show of her stage play Sunday night, she had a confrontation with a hotel staff over alleged racial discrimination incident. Braxton, who completed a stint playing Snoop Dogg's Angel in a play Redemption of a Dog in Oakley, California on November 18th, explained what happened on Instagram Live. Tamar words. I'm at the most ghetto racist hotel that I have ever been in. Like, T. Shella showed his ID. Don't want to allow us access to the room. She says, mentioning her Nigerian boyfriend by his code name. I'm good. I'm in need of somebody to call the police. I'm going to go show y'all where it at. Don't stay here because it's disgusting. We don't charge our room. Oh, I'm sorry. I got that twisted, y'all. She said, we don't change our room three, four times. You are a N-word to these white people. They don't care. I'm at the Cliff Hotel, she added, demanding fans to get refunds if people treat you like shh. Now, as obviously you are going to see in the clip that I'm going to provide next. Thank you to um, Tamar Chronicles. She went to explain... A worker whom she referred to as the Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom, y'all. Larry told them their system is down, which is just seems like a total excuse to her. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely not feeling that this system is down. She also added that Larry wanted to fight her earlier over the dispute. Tamar says, I never felt more black in my life, she says. I'm proud, though. I'm mixed. Get your life. It's a effing crime being black in America. As she sat down and claimed her frustrations to the world on the video. But honestly, she sat down and calmed her nerves. A hotel employee could be heard claiming off the camera that Braxton's was making threats to my manager. And she was given disrespects while we were trying to fix her problem. Braxton's boyfriend attempted to claim that the worker down later checked in on his girlfriend. Apparently, the hotel staff also wanted to search her luggage, which Braxton recalled she was told was producers to know. What's in my bag? In response, fans gave their thoughts on the situation as well as Braxton's actions. Go on, Tamar, blast him on social media. And they dare wrong for what they doing and acting. Why don't you just leave? That will hurt their pockets even more. I will never go there. Here today. Hee haw, hee haw. You stupid motherfucker. Are you dumb? <laughs> hey everybody. So here is the thing. I just finished my show with Snoop, and I'm at the most ghetto, racist hotel that I've ever been in. Like, T'Challa showed his ID, don't want to allow us access to the room. My, I, I, your system down and that's my fault? I'm going to need somebody to call the police. I'm going to tell y'all where I'm at. I'm going to show y'all where I'm at. Don't stay here because it's disgusting. We done changed our room three and four times, y'all. Like, I, I mean, people be talking about, like, how things have changed. I swear to God, my mom was just talking to me, and I'm about to start crying because my mom was just talking to us about her living in the 60s and how, like, things are becoming parallel. Like, it does not matter how much money you have, what you do for a living, it... That does not mean anything. It's just like you are a n okay to these white people. They don't care. I'm at the Cliff Hotel. I, y'all, I can't. Don't stay here, y'all. And when people treat y'all like shit, get your money back. 
You don't deserve to be treated like shit. Because guess what? I'm just like everybody else. I, I, this is time away from my kid. Like, who? My flight is at 7 a.m. to do another job. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is, I'm a single mother. This is crazy. And then the Uncle Tom. I mean, I am baffled. Your system is down. And that's my fault? But is it your fault that I'm tired? I just... And everybody got an amnesia. I'm about to put this up on my Facebook. I got everybody's face. Larry, Uncle Tom, tried it. What you say? Oh, baby, you is. See? That's what I'm talking about. You mad because you called out. Because, and this is the problem. And this is why you got to go in business for yourself. It's crazy. Now he act like he want to fight. Talking about you ain't putting me on shit. Like what you going to do? Boo? Let's get it. What you, I'm from Baltimore. Boo. You want to check me? I know y'all heard him. Everybody done changed their tune now. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I have never felt more black in my life. I'm proud though. I'm mixed. Get your life. I thought we was pumped up. We want pumped up? I thought you wanted to fight earlier. You don't want to fight? You wanted to fight earlier. Exactly. Get your life together. See what I'm saying? That's what they did. It's a fucking crime being black in America. Now everybody got amnesia. I'm out of here. I can't do this no more. No, I'm not. I'm I haven't done anything. I'm sitting here. Sir, I'm, I haven't said anything. It's Don't be a queen. I didn't, I didn't make the problem what it is, so don't, don't, don't disrespect me. I'm going to turn around. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Please, please don't. 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 He said he wanted to call the police on me because I'm sitting down. Baby, I... I haven't, I'm just sitting here. I don't know what he's, why she's so mad. Okay, so, okay. Why I no, I, am I, but am I irate? Louis Vuitton pull bag? And you just want to know what was in my purse, my bag? Like, that's my procedure to do. I'm, I'm really sorry. Your name is Larry Girl. I haven't done anything. I'm not doing anything illegal. I haven't talked to anybody. I'm just sitting here. Just That's fine. I, that girl, Larry, baby, she. Larry, you ain't got no damn. All right, sorry about all that. That was a miscommunication. Yes, he said it was a procedure to know what's in my bag. Becky, go. Girl, if you want to sit down. This was just unfortunate. Okay. 
you're dealing with me. If you have any questions, I'm here. I'm the problem. I'm just sitting here. I haven't okay, said anything to anybody. I haven't done anything. Yeah. So, yeah, just good night. May I have your attention, please? Look. But you say you don't want to talk to me because my name's yeah, not on the ring. But room. look, I know. Tell me, look at it. Look at the. Look at what's your name? All right, Kareem. Look at Kareem. Yeah, tell me. I'm straight. 